Sandra Elm. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. As you can see, um, we're we're actually staging equipment. I know, does this sound kind of crazy? Well, see, part of it is, I don't know about you, but every time you get ready to do something major, it does take a little bit of preparation, which may have reason to, oh, wait a minute, what actually did happen in Benghazi? Did the White House know? They didn't know. I think it all depends on who you ask or who's talking. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the president. Well, it actually should be all over for the president because the guy, okay, the press is in total disbelief. Yesterday he comes on, he comes on with a Brian Williams, and Brian Williams actually had a softball question, but they asked him about Benghazi. And that's when he made the amazing statement, well, they never asked for help. If they'd have asked for help, I would have made certain it got, it was given to them immediately. And well, this was the president? Yeah, and then they just went beyond, oh, you know, and that we're going to look into what actually happened, and then they went to the next question. The problem was is that the everybody knows from the people in charge they asked for help. Everybody knows from the military the help was asked for. Everybody knows from Leon Planeta the help was asked for. They know from, from General Petrakis that help was asked for. The emails show help was asked for. Unfortunately, the only person that seems right now, other than the people trying to elect the president's campaign team, is that they didn't ask for help or those people. I mean, they're, they're, they're saying, and once again, it's, if I tell you they didn't, then they didn't, believe me. Even though you may have heard, you may have heard Mitt Romney and the Republicans and Fox News lying about everything, I'm telling the truth, but everybody knows he's lying, totally lying, and they don't, it's the cover-up that's got to get him bounced out of office, because the Democrats will throw him out of office. They have to. And Obama fallen behind, so the GNP rose to the highest it has been in five years. Yeah, but uh, I know they, it's uh, the economy is going backwards. So he has a gross national product that is at least seven tenths of a point higher than it possibly could be. And there, but the the Obama administration, after they got caught in another lie, well, because of the way things worked out with, they didn't actually add to the gross national product. It's military spending and government spending that had to be put on the books now or lose it. In other words, the money actually, nobody was ever hired, no penny ever changed hands, but it did result in higher gross national product. And he said, yes, that's how it works. We said, no, it doesn't. Mm. You have to actually be spending money and buying things for it to go up. Well, it's just the same. We've got 87% approval rating on how the economy is going under Obama. Of course, the people that are, are, are doing the polls on re-electing him said they only had a 37% approval rating. And billionaire gives $100 million to New York City's Central Park. He needs to, it needs to be cleaned up. What happened is, is that years and years and years and years of neglect have caused a massive problem. And... Um, you know, so the city has refused to do it. It's a city park, for Christ's sake. You're supposed to keep it maintained, and they haven't been doing it. You would think. It's Central Park. Yeah, and it's a tourist attraction, but they, I mean, you get that, you can't walk in that thing at night because the police don't go there anymore. Oh. USGS 6.6 .6 earthquake strikes Costa Rica. Yeah, and then a 7.7 .7 hit, um, uh, hit, uh, what was it, uh, uh, up, north, uh, up north, and it basically got a, a tidal wave heading towards um, Hawaii right now, a tsunami heading that direction. Obama, Romney is not to be trusted. I love this. If you elect Romney, he's going to tax you from cradle to grave. Um, they, they, they said, uh, said well, they, uh, Romney made a remark about that when he said the president, the president wasn't reading a teleprompter again because it is him that is taxing people from cradle to grave. He said, I want to reduce taxes. He wants to increase taxes. And he, seemed, he, it, it, he said, it's what happened when he gets off a teleprompter. He actually says the right thing, but he doesn't exactly say it right. <laughs> well, B B Biden did it again yesterday. Biden made two more blunders that basically what happens is, is Biden is he's, 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 he's really old and senile now, and he's starting to spill the beans of what's going on. Those aren't blunders. Those are, he's just telling you what's going to happen. I would like that. Well, they won't tell you that, you know, they're only letting you know that Romney is going to raise taxes 4.7%. 
we're going to raise taxes only 4% on you. Mm -hmm. hey, that's, they're telling you they're not going to do it now, but Biden tells people they were. He did it again last night. Is the iPad mini worth buying? Not according to anybody on the market. The stock fell another 27 points after that. Another? Never. They said um, it's, it, it's virtually the same cost as the iPad they're selling now. And we are talking, there is totally nothing that you can hook up to that you have. It doesn't come with a charger for the price. And you can't add any peripherals that are currently available on the market to it. Ooh. It's a totally useless piece of stuff. Uh, and, uh, and you know, and it basically because it came out before it was ready, they have it, it's Wi-Fi only and not connected with any uh, system like all the other apples are. Now like you're just Apple. making me sit there and think about the Microsoft Surface, Surface, which was supposed to come out. Was it the it's Surface supposed out. to come out or Microsoft Windows 8? They came out the same day. The Surface. So we have to go see it. The Surface uh, has a basic problem with it. It's a total Windows 8. Which means and all those apps that are out there that are on Apple and Android are not available. We're not going to work with it. So basically, you only you got to, and we've already ran into the problem because one of the services that we use that used to be free from Microsoft is basically no longer free, and it's a cloud service. Everything, everything on the Surface is going to be cloud oriented, the same as Windows 8, because you never got, you can't go to the internet now. You have to go to the cloud, which. For anybody that doesn't really understand it, it means you're going to a server like you were before, but they're calling it a different name. And Romney ekes out bragging rights. Yeah, well, I mean, okay, she goes to Costco to shop, and, and, and Sam's to shop, and Walmart to shop, and basically Obama and his wife have never been in a Costco or a Sam. Oh, they haven't? No, that's uh, the, the people. Okay, here's the thing is, Romney may be wealthy, but Romney is... Um, it, it, he's basically he's like Reagan. He goes out and cuts wood. He he just he goes out and overly dresses when he does all the work around the place <laughs> because he doesn't know how to do anything else but dress well. And Romney ekes out bragging rights. Yeah, because she goes. Oh, I know well, he does. The gay yeah. GOP group hesitantly backs Romney. Well, because they don't want Obama. I Can mean, you tell it's an election year? <laughs> yeah, they uh, okay. They're um, the, okay. The, the way it works is. I grew up in an environment where there were gay people everywhere. They just, nobody cared. What happened is when you started forcing your views on other people, that's when the problem resulted. Like, um, like uh, it, it's, the, it's the, the, the Mark Twain thing that because there's someone in this restaurant that can't eat meat, meat, eat meat I can't have my steak tonight. Mm -hmm. This is what it is. is. You know, my rights are more important than your rights. But we're going to talk, most people don't realize that the guy that designed Washington, D.C., uh, was a Frenchman, was also a philosopher. He wrote a very simple thing. He said, when the rights of the majority have been eroded away, the rights of the minority are soon to follow. Mm. And Colorado finds 300 more suspected non-citizens in voter oh. rolls. That's it? Only 300 no, more? They're finding every time they look, they're, caught, they're finding them. They're people... Every state where laws have been passed to stop all of this, the the uh, the, the uh, Obama administration's lawyers have basically uh, tried to bring it to a halt because they didn't bring it to a halt. They delayed it with court decisions until the eighth of, of uh, until the day after the election, when the new laws can go into effect. Even though they have been constituted, what they said is resulting in what could be the first election totally overruled by the Supreme Court. Because they can't come back if they revisit it like they think they're going to do. They already know that the five that with five votes to basically probably invalidate the election if wrong if uh, if if Obama wins it will be an invalidation. So I mean the way it looks like is that uh, Obama's either going to have to take over the country or he's got to be tossed out of office by either the Supreme Court or by the Democratic Party. Ooh, and bigamists kept three years secret, say police. I, don't, I mean, I don't know what the big deal about that one is. It's just a slow. Don't, don't they normally keep it secret? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They don't try to tell people. It's just like a, a well-known actor had a wife in Canada, and a wife in Los Angeles, and one in San, and and, uh, and going out with somebody in Las Vegas who was doing extra shows every week in order to pay so the wife's 
and the, it, neither wife would know that money wasn't coming in. And then the girl, it, it had, he was maintaining three residents, but he had to do three extra shows every week in order to do it. And the extra shows were never on the books. Ah. They got him for income tax evasion. He's sitting in a jail cell at the moment. So. And Madonna sued for flashing Marlon Brando in concert. I don't, I don't understand. Oh, what that. is that? She did, uh, basically she had, she had Marlon Brando on her chest, so. Oh, is that what it is? And that's it. She and she got sued for flashing? She just had a picture of Marlon Brando painted on her, so she flashed people. I mean, well, last night she pissed off the people. They came to see Madonna at a concert and she gave him a, a, political, a, 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 speech. a political speech about Obama needs you because of the Mitt Romney's going to take everything you have. Remember, these people are all the people, the one percent. She doesn't live in the United States, so she no longer gets hit by the taxes and stuff that Obama, plus she can afford her own health care, so she doesn't care. Yeah, animonte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, uh, sometimes experience is, really is important, but not as much as it used to be.